news today's World News Roundup, closing stages of Donald Trump's criminal trial, a key admission from the star prosecution witness, and another clashes with the judge. Here's CBS's Robert Costa. The prosecution rested its case as the defense continued to question the credibility of key witness Michael Cohen. During cross-examination, Donald Trump's former fixer testified that in 2017, the Trump Organization owed a technology company $50,000 and that he paid them about 20000 but kept the rest. Trump's lawyer, Todd Blanche, asked, so you stole from the Trump Organization? Cohen responded, yes, sir. Things became heated when the defense called attorney Robert Costello, who claims he once legally advised Cohen and discussed the Stormy Daniels payment with him. Costello testified Cohen told him in 2018 that Trump knew nothing about those payments, that he did this on his own. Throughout his testimony, Costello clashed with Judge Juan Mershon, repeatedly speaking over the judge's rulings and audibly reacting. An angry Mershon told the witness, if you don't like my ruling, you don't give me side eye and you don't roll your eyes. Then asked Costello, are you staring me down right now? And in a dramatic moment, the judge cleared the courtroom to reprimand the witness, threatening to remove Costello from the stand if he stares him down again. Trump's social media account shared a video of what happens after Donald Trump's witness, suggesting an election win for him will bring a, quote, unified right. Words splashed on hypothetical newspaper articles with World War I-era German clippings. The Biden campaign attacked the post. The Trump campaign says the item was from a random account reposted by a staffer. Now to Arizona, CBS's Ed O'Keefe is covering today's court appearance for those accused of trying to overturn Trump's 2020 defeat in the state. Prosecutors allege a total of 18 Republican leaders conspired to tip Arizona's 11 electoral college votes to Donald Trump after the 2020 elections. Arizona's Democratic Attorney General has charged them with fraud, forgery, and conspiracy. Those charged include the former White House Chief of Staff, Mark Meadows, the former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani, former Trump Attorney John Eastman, and the former head of the Arizona GOP, Kelly Ward, and her husband, Michael. Trump himself, not charged in this case, but is repeatedly referred to in a 58-page indictment as an unindicted co-conspirator. He denies any wrongdoing. Correspondent MTS Tayab reports this morning from Israel that President Biden has reacted sharply to a call for an arrest warrant for the country's prime minister. Whatever these wars may imply, there is no equivalent between Israel and Hamas. President Biden didn't hold back when defending Israel's leaders. But the International Criminal Court's chief prosecutor was just as blunt in his assessment of Hamas' devastating October 7th attack and Israel's brutal response to it allegedly breached international rules of war. No foot soldier, no commander, no civilian leader, no one can act with impunity. Netanyahu responded with fury to the allegations he's committed war crimes and crimes against humanity. What a travesty of justice, what a disgrace. Panel three judges will decide whether to issue the arrest warrant. And while neither the U.S. nor Israel recognize the ICC's authority, Netanyahu could still face a warrant for his arrest more than 120 countries. Now to Iran. <laughs> Mourners are gathering for days of funerals for Iran's late president and foreign minister who were killed in a helicopter crash. Singapore Airlines says a person died and others were injured when a London to Singapore flight encountered severe turbulence. The plane landed safely in Bangkok. It's four minutes after the hour. Well, that's today. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Pete's love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. It's 61 degrees in Tracy, California.